What's up, good people? I'm your host, Barry Bonds. I got my co-host with me, Pappy Black and Game Beats, and this is the Smoke Motherfucking Talk Podcast. What's up, fellas? Ain't nothing, man. Yo, like Will you get what's your happening? week? What's happening? What's happening? Yeah, yeah. What's up with you, man? Doja Cat ESTG Hot Boy Summer. Lil Nas X, Jack Harlow. I'm trying to Lil Nas making noise. Oh, and uh, what's his name? He got number six. He got um. Uh... Oh no, that's not uh. That's Freddie Gibbs list, I think. Jim Jones, Freddie Gibbs, yo. Huh? Jim Jones, Freddie Gibbs. I don't know what happened. I know it, it, it's it's over. <laughs> you about, about you know, verses, right? You, yeah, you know what's dope, though. They said they had a little altercation. But you you know what you know what um you know what I what what became clear with that situation to me. Freddie Gibbs is talking shit, and Jim Jones act like nothing happened. That's old Freddie school. Old, that's Freddie old Gibbs school. talking shit. Yeah, he said he got two shows coming up in New York. He probably shit. Jim Jones act like nothing ain't happened. Yeah, That's old know. school, bro. We don't know what they know, so. Old school, you 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 get the body, you don't want the credit. New school, you want the body and the credit. Mm. Jimmy acting like nothing happened, bro. You ain't seen him say shit oh, about it. Here we go. Yeah, and the good synopsis. That's a good way. We already know what's going to make. Hmm. Here we go. B Dot said the best rappers of 2021. That was uh what I just say, Freddie Gibbs. That was his list. B Dot said Lil Wayne number one. For 2021? 2021. J. Cole okay. number two. Drake number three. Freddie Gibbs number four. Conway the Machine number five. Nas number six, Benny the Butcher number seven, Lil Baby number eight, March Homie number nine, and Lil Dirt number ten. He got Dirt too low. He got Lil Baby too low. I don't know if Freddie Gibbs should be on there. Um, I'm happy my boy is in all the list. Way up. I'm happy uh, Dirkio is in all the list, man. Is is X making noise? Who? Exactly, Lil Nas X. Yeah, no, nah, he got. Oh, I think some of that shit be uh, <laughs> Joe Button said, "Yo, they playing you niggas to make this list." <laughs> I think some of that shit be uh, strategy. Yeah, that's true. Little now, that's, like, now that's my numbers. Now, yeah, I don't think he's no top rapper, man. Come on, hell no. no. Nah, it's not about him being top rapper. So that that's he's what it said. Rapper. Best rappers of two. It said best rappers of twenty twenty one. He up there because he's famous. Not the first thing, he's he not on this list. Um, he on Najee's list. He's not on Elliot's list. Elliot got Tyler the Creator. Elliot got J. Cole number one. Tyler the Creator be making noise uh, though. Tyler the Creator. He got Drake it's number three, Kanye number four, Moneybag Yo number five, Lil Baby number six, Lil Dirk number seven, Nas number eight, Polo G number nine, Match Homie. How many? I don't know. I don't know who that. I gotta look him up. So, Lil Nas X is on this uh, one of the apartments. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't know how he get, get on the best rapper list. I don't, I don't get that. Durkio's in all of them, man. He belong there, and he should be higher on all of them to me. Or oh, everyone, wherever they got him at, they got him too low. And they got Lil Baby too low, too. Yeah, ba Lil Baby, he can rap. And they put the baby on that motherfucker? That boy can rap. He on there. He on all the lists. Yeah, they can, he can rap rap. Hey, definitely on the next one, I need y'all to go. After this one, I need y'all to go review that Nas album. Because Nas did something he ain't never do before. In a year and a half, he didn't, it's going to be his third project in a year and a half. Yeah. Nas usually go four years or more. Yeah, that's it. Oh, yeah, I'm doing the years. Bro, at first it was four. 
look, Illmatic, four years later, it was written. Four years later, uh, I Am. Four years later, Nostradamus. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but wasn't that the way things went back then? Even back then, every niggas wasn't taking four years. Well, Even, uh, on a professional. At, at least two. At least right. two years. Oh, two uh, two was the story. Niggas will wait two years to come out with an album. Yeah, but four years back in the day, that was still long, bro. Pop, yeah, no, Pop he, changed that shit, man. Come on, bro. He changed, yeah, he changed the way they, he changed the pace of the game. Who? Uh, Master P. Pop. Oh, I thought you were talking about Pop. Pop did that before Master P, bro. No, huh? that's what I'm saying. Pop did that before Master P. Pop died in 96, man. Yeah, Master P didn't come out to 99, bro. Bro, Pop, Pop wasn't dropping no two albums in a year. What are you talking about? He came right back after, after he dropped, um, what you call it? He came right back with Machiavelli. What are you talking about? Um, he didn't wait long to drop back before he knew he was gonna die. Bro. <laughs> bro, Master P was the one who made that, who started dropping. Ah, uh, Pac did that, bro. Pac did uh, that. Pac started Pac that rapping, go. going in there, knocking out albums and shit like that. Pac had albums on the street before <laughs> that wasn't even being released, bro. This is what I'm saying to you. Master Tupac P did that, brother. Tupac did Master the double back. <laughs> Credit for doing that, bro. After Master P did it, DMX dropped two in a year. I'm not talking about who gave credit for it, nigga. If you was if you was there, Tupac dropped all eyes on me and came right back with Machiavelli. He did. And how at long that was, time, how long was, how at long that was. time, hold on. At that time, nobody was doing that. That's the shit fools talking about. Niggas waiting four years and shit like that for an hour. That was, that was long, common. How long after all eyes on me? Did Machiavelli drop? I don't know if they got the original All Eyes on Me um release date because uh you know what you call it um on that shit now. Um it's on Wikipedia. I forgot what uh I'm about to look it up on his album shit. Um uh, I forgot which um I forgot what you call it, which uh Label owns that shit now. Owns what? You say that uh, Pac, Pac dropped All Eyes on Me. See, I don't know. The, uh, February 13th, 1996. And when did Machiavelli drop? Hold on. Machiavelli dropped in 99. No, 97. Nine. Nah. Nine. 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 Dropped November yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. fifth, nineteen ninety six. Yeah, ninety six. Because I was, I was, was the first one to do that shit, brother. He was the first one to do that shit. He made that shit right after, and he made the other albums that they released on the street. Pop was the first one to initiate. Pop had niggas going into the studio, recording like that. That was Tupac who started that shit. Master P got credit for it because Pop died. But Pac was the one doing that to get out his deal at Death Row. Hey, yeah. To do yeah, Machiavelli records. This, this is what I'm saying to you. This is what I'm the saying. Is in the, right there. Now, what did you say? The, the first, of all, Pac, first of all, Pac didn't drop Machiavelli. That's number one. It was set to release. No, it wasn't. They put it that was shit out. It was set to release. He spoke bro. on it. They put it out because he died. He, he spoke on the release, bro. He that was a finished was what, album. That wasn't no album said, that niggas had put together on the side and then it was a finished out. Bro, you know this shit already. Death Row dropped that shit because he died, bro, bro. That shit was coming out, bro. That nigga was going to Machiavelli Records trying to get out of the He it was dropping that shit, brother. Yeah, he was kicking that Machiavelli shit before he, he dropped it. He was kicking that Machiavelli shit before he, di- before he died, bro. What are you talking I'm about? 96. That nigga had videos for Machiavelli album, game. You know that, right? You know there's videos from the album, right? What's to Live and Die in LA. It's, it's a couple of, it's like two, three videos for that shit. You know that, right? Brother. In every other city, other city we go, see the same hoes. That's Got not it. That's not from that album. That's from All Eyes On Me. That's from, that's from Machiavelli. The shit with Snoop Dogg? That's from All Eyes On Me, bro. <laughs> that's from All Eyes On Me. He had, uh, he did a video for Toss It Up. 
No, you're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. For right, just yeah. living out, the nigga was dropping the shit, brother. He spoke on it on 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 MTV. I'm saying it wasn't coming out in '96, b. It was coming out. This is why he shot the video Not for. It. Came out in '96 because he died, bro. No, brother, he dropped. He okay. put all right, bro. All right, all right. That's what he all did. Right. He he give pockets credit, man. Man, get get that nigga's credit, bro. I, I'm giving that to Master P. Oh, uh, you wrong, man. The, 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 footage <laughs> there, nigga. the footage and the numbers is there, bro. That's your opinion. Once again, as we say, that's your no, that's opinion. Not. We going on but, facts. But, we going on facts. Opinion. This nigga had videos that for that shit, bro. Money. Who you know dropped the album back in 96? The way they was, they wasn't shooting videos like that. Nigga wasn't shooting videos for the next album. Before that, I, I do I do credit I do credit Pop for 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 changing the pace of the game. He changed the pace of the game. I credit him. Exactly. This nigga act like he game. don't know that shit. Come on, I, man. No, I, no, I don't. Pop I don't change that shit, brother. <laughs> <laughs> Work on, ethic. Brother. I, don't, I don't think he changed the pace of the bro, game. He changed the pace of the game, nigga. Any nigga that I, see I, this, so they gonna think you crazy, bro. Tupac changed the I, pace. Oh, we Tupac changed the pace of recording. And all that what? shit. What? Making them niggas finish songs. Not dropping albums. Making, he making, a, making them niggas finish songs. And was and was dropping Machiavelli in 96. That's why what? he had videos. Face of recording, definitely. And he had videos for that album, bro. Like, bro, you, you talking like they had that album and they dropped it. And, and, and he, he had that shit set to release. He was getting off of death row. He had to get that album out. That's why yeah, he got the videos for it, brother. Hey, bro, I don't think if Pac was was alive, that album would have came that out. Shit was coming out, bro. That shit came like, out. Just like Biggie shit. Just like Biggie shit had a release date, and he died, brother. Pay attention to it, bro. Do you do? It, go back and do your googles on it. Bro. Listen, pay attention. And then give a master Peter. I'm not going with that shit, man. I don't nah, know. nah, nah. He changed no, the pace. Of that's album. your opinion, nigga. We going on facts. Facts. No, that's not facts. That's, 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 that's fact. Popping albums, bro. He agreed with that one. He agreed with that one. Huh? Fact. You you agreed on that, right? No, I said Master P changed the pace of dropping albums. No, I thought you were talking about the. I disagree. Uh, oh, oh, okay. No, Pop changed the pace of that whole music shit. Pop Long came out what year? Body huh? body came out what year? Body body. What year was that? It was ninety nine or some shit like that, bro. I don't know what I don't know what year it was. Them niggas was emulating. It was, it was, yo, it was late hey yo, boom. Them niggas was emulating Tupac. Yeah, because they was emulating this smart. nigga, bro. Be smart. Don't get be it smart. fucked up. Something. They all was emulating Pop, nigga. Don't Not get it fucked up. Change the pace of dropping niggas albums. Niggas emulating Pop, even with that recording shit and dropping shit, bro. Master P changed the you know piece I mean? of records. Trust me, out. The same way Biggie had one video for the double album. He had a release date. They wasn't doing that shit that we do now back then. They was only shooting, they were shooting videos when they had a release date. They wasn't shooting videos for two, three years from now. They ain't dropped Pac album because and had no videos and go get motherfucking T-Pain to sing on the hook. And he ain't no T Pain. All the motherfuckers in the studio with Pop, nigga. That's a completed album. Don't do this. I'm not, shit. I'm not, letting, I'm not letting that I'm go. I'm but yo, Pop don't get his respect. This motherfucker said Master P. Oh, when everybody Pop, watch this shit coming. This wait, motherfucker said Pop Master P. When do Pop not get respect? Huh? When do Pop not get respect? I don't get respect, bro. Pop don't get respect. Yo, they don't give a lot of niggas who, who pioneer shit respect, bro. They don't give a lot of niggas that, bro. They don't give a lot of niggas, bro. Come on, man. Try to go to the founder and shit, bro. Without Pac, there is no, without Pac and them, there is none of that thug shit from Master P and all them niggas. That's Pac. No, they they thought they was life. All that shit, bro. Going into the studio, finishing them songs and all. That's Pac, nigga. Come on, man. That's Tupac, nigga. But yeah, nah, um, Tupac, uh, 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 definitely his. his That's Tupac, he, nigga. He, he was ahead scale. of all them niggas, bro. He was I ahead of all them the niggas. The, Biggie, the all of them, bro. And Biggie is my nigga, bro. But he was ahead of niggas, bro. Whatever what? he knew, he was ahead of niggas. He was ahead Record of time, bro. He was ahead of them recording. Stuff, and, and if you don't know, if you ain't on the street, you know how many albums got leaked on the street, Pac had? 
Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Back then, the nigga was ahead of his time, bro. We, we not going to do it. Ali. He was ahead he of his time. That shit that Master P and him doing, that was pop template. He just ain't lived to finish it. Exactly. But he was he, dropping. He, but if you do your Googles and look on YouTube, brother, bro, Machiavelli had a release date. Who that shit? There. Machiavelli had a release date, brother. I'm not saying it had it a release date it. before that. Never. That's why I'm that nigga had two it. videos, nigga. I'm not saying Machiavelli he did not have. He was dropping that shit that year, nigga. He was okay. dropping that shit, brother. Okay. He dropped it. Master P changed the pace of dropping albums, bro. Nah, P Tupac did. He was just better at it. Master P but found a way to he get. Did, he wasn't even better at it, fool. He Master P was alive, dead, brother. Master P was alive. Only difference. Pop Master P was dead, alive. Bro. He was. I'm not giving him it. that, bro. I'm not giving Master him that. Master P was alive. I'm not giving him that, bro. We not, I'm not. I'm not going with that. Smoke talk. Podcast. Exactly. Podcast. Yeah. Okay. But okay. Master Peeps, nigga, man. But yo, I don't, I don't, hear, I don't hear too much pop slander, bro. It's, 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 it's I hear. I, I, it, I, I don't hear about too much. About it, I, yo, I hear. I heard a motherfucker say the other day that that NBA young boy is is better than Pop. Well, who said that? Like, who said it? A young nigga? I don't know. Yeah. It was you know, it's, yeah. it's the yeah. mighty old internet. Just yeah. like that motherfucker just said, Michael Jackson can't say it's right. the mighty internet. Like yo, I'm talking about people that was there. People that was there when Pop was 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 there. They, I don't get. I don't hear no disrespect from them. These it's young nothing, niggas. It's nothing like yo yo. You can still play that shit today, and that shit sound current. That nigga yeah, was ahead yeah. of his time, and I, the and Biggie Smalls, the Tory G was ahead of his time. They were ahead of their I time. Agree. I agree. That shit, that shit wasn't normal. That's nah, them niggas wasn't normal, bro. That's your niggas was what, he was, what he was doing, bro. Them niggas was prodigies, bro. Them, them niggas was 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 definitely ahead of their time. Definitely. Them niggas. Pac, Pac just had a bigger body of work because he recorded more. You know, he 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 was he was just knocking out songs. He said Pac ain't even listen to them shits. He laid them verses and went to the next joint. Yeah, and told oh. the niggas in the studio, whoever got their verse right, they get on. Whoever got their verse done, get on that song. Right. Verse ain't done, you missed the cut, nigga. Ain't nothing like that, nigga. It's just that he don't, you know, in times change, but you know, motherfuckers gotta sometimes just stop the comparison shit. Hey, bro, motherfuckers still don't have as many songs as Pac had, even with today's output of music. Oh, motherfuckers. Uh, who, who was that? Who said that? Which artist said that? Said Say that. what? Burner. Burner said he got a song. Uh, he just waiting on the estate that he got a uh, he gonna have a song with Pop. Uh huh. The nigga got verses where motherfuckers just had to talk to the estate, and it and he said, "I just gotta pick which verse fits the song I want." What type of shit is that? This nigga been dead since '96. <laughs> Yeah, he still got music we ain't heard. He just said, I just got to pick the... uh, Pick the verse he want. The, the, the fit his song. That, yeah. Motherfuckers, nobody had that type of output. And I, I don't know if they do today. And I'm going to be honest with you. Uh, you know, what I like, what I liked about Nip, you know, uh, I don't, I hope Nip got a whole fucking album, which I probably do, that they got, they got released. You know, that's my nigga. You know, um, oh, we got, I mean, I, we know we got uh, music. What I like about Nip, what I really respect, it is the, you know, that when the way Nip team moved, God bless him, after he passed away. Man, flawless, man. Them all his artists, the, the unity, they, they, they wear, the, uh, they do all the photo shoots for his clothes. They push that shit while they all got their own shit. Man, that's a well, well, Oil machine, man. Yeah. I, I wish that I wish that back in the day that like Junior Mafia and them kept it going, and the Outlaws. I mean, they did, but I wish that it, you know, and, and you know, they didn't have social media back then, so you know, yeah. no telling what they could have been. Because social media is, you know, amplifies everything. 
But you know, that I was big on, you know what I mean? Like the outlaw album they dropped after. Man, Pop dropped a lot of fucking music after he died, bro. Yeah, he had a lot of music. Definitely. He got a lot of music. Period. And I wish that uh Julian Mafia, like they held it down, though. Kim, you gotta respect it. She kept her career. She held that shit yeah. down, you know. Yeah, but you know, the the, the thing that hurt and Junior Mafia. Did. Big was the pin, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Kim, Kim, Kim made it after that, though. You know, she just... Kim was the only one that was big enough that could do it. Yeah, because when when you uh when a person writes a song and somebody cover it, you tend to learn their methods. She learned the way he wrote, and she was able to implement that because, I mean, she wasn't being criticized as an artist, but a female artist. And. So, and and, and it was somebody else's pen too. That was somebody else's yeah. pen. Big dog. Right. But she's, look, Foxy Brown tried to sound like Biggie from afar. She was trying to do it without the pen because he was the hot rapper. Lil' Kim was getting it from the source. She had somebody else's pen too. Gavin right. was right in she still, she still rapped it like Big would have rapped it. Um, that's deep. Yeah, I ain't never think about that. I never, I never got the uh, the Biggie vibe from 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 Fox, but what you, you said, oh, oh, what? When she, when she, nah, she you, Nas, Jay Z and Nas wrote a lot of Nike and, and shit. Biggie was the only nigga that said shit like that. Like, yeah, when you say you know, you know Hov was writing that. You know, Hov was Hov wrote the um some of that shit. Hov, and, um, Hov wrote her two biggest joints. And you know, Jay and yeah. Nas and Nas okay. and then when she was with the firm, Gavin was writing it after that. Like it, her cadence, her cadence I wish Foxy had come back. I no, wish I, I, I hear, I hear, I hear, now that you said that, but I never I never put that together. I, I wish Foxy had come back. I always liked her presence. Yo, Fox voice was so dope. Like Fox Fox didn't sound like she was trying to be cute. She sounded like like dope. Yeah, she wanted to be she wanted she was the uh, in my like, opinion, I, we got I like Fox voice. I mean, I like Fox voice better than Kim voice. We we gotta bring these debates. I like that argument, man. The debate me and game just had. We gotta bring them to the to smoke talk live, so we get the people involved. You know what I mean? Shit like that's a good that's a good one because you could argue that shit. You feel me? That's a valid yeah. argument. You know, you could go back and forth with it. You know what I mean? Yeah, you could go back either way. You know, I'm just defending Pop. You know what I mean? But he could go. He could defend that shit. Cause I remember that shit too, and that that shit yeah. was, that shit was a game changer too. So we need to bring that to the live, man. They was dropping them like water. Then DMX did it. He dropped the two albums. And <laughs> now I'm, I'm gonna say this. Besides, you know, like I said, Pop didn't execute it. Like for what I believe, my belief. It's my opinion too. It's not a, you know, but uh, yo, Pete. After that, it was Pete to me. Like Pete, fucking. Slaughtered the game, but sometimes, sometimes did the did the quantity dilute the quality. It can, it can, but but it's look, who did it like P after that? Cash money. Everybody started doing it. I'm talking about the P consistency. I don't know if nobody did it like that. Nobody can keep up with P, but after yeah, P, he had did, like twenty songs an album. When, when <laughs> And look, and, yo, and, that nigga had rap groups that had come out yeah. of nowhere. And, like, yo, Cain and Abel. Like, he was putting on yeah. Cain. They video, they video, I mean, they all uh, album covers was the funniest shit in the world. Yeah, nigga, like man, big, be all the way up here. They'd be like $100,000 on their wrist and shit. Uh, yeah. hey, bro. And cars in the background with the glitter. Yeah, hey, look, my argument wasn't that Pac didn't do it first. I'm saying P is the one that made everybody else start doing it. Yeah, yeah. I, I just believe, I believe if you listen to Master P interview, I believe he was inspired by Tupac. That's what I was saying. Like he Tupac. was absolutely inspired because, by you Tupac. You know, he I don't know if he I, think he or I don't know if he yeah, yeah, Pac yeah. Or, I know he spoke to Pac or something, but he, he Pac was the first one that we seen, like Fu said, hit that studio like that. And yeah, Machiavelli, I, I'm surprised you don't remember, but Machiavelli was slated, he was releasing Machiavelli. That's why he shot them videos and shit. Because he was getting out of, uh, I, know. I just watched the um, an interview on this uh, Machiavelli records. That that's what his goal was. Mm -hmm. I mean, he was going to do Machiavelli records, and 
You know, shit went so I, I wish Biggie would have had more records, man. Biggie was I think man. Biggie was the best lyricist Bro. ever. Let me say, no, ever, ever. He oh, was rhyming, rhyming. You think Biggie was the best ever? He I think, was I, yeah, I, think the, shit. I don't think he had a big enough body of work to, to say, say but he was up there. Uh, well, what about what about you got big enough to diminish though? Huh? Huh? I don't think I don't think he would have went in, in any type of decline. I think that, boy, that, boy, that boy was you, bad, man. You right? All right, look, check this out. All right, we all was young rapping against each other. People on the block, anybody. When you know a nigga can rap, everybody know a nigga can rap. They they point him out. They call him up like, "Yo, we're going to call old buddy because he can rap." We we had this conversation before. Biggie was so goddamn good. That even though he didn't get to finish or go further, you there's no indication that he would have declined because he was that good. I don't think he would have declined. I, I'm just saying. Okay. So I'm just saying, he, gets, he gets to keep a spot because of how good he was, even though he didn't get to get better. He still he earned got, a spot because he was he that good. That, yeah, he just stuck in them three albums, and one of them was. One one of them three is a double album, so he's stuck in "Ready to Die" and "Life After Death." Right, and in those three albums, he was that good to stay on the list and in the top tier of the list. Right, but I don't know if his body of work was big enough to say he's the best lyricist That's ever. Yeah. You got Biggie, Jay Z, and Nas. Yeah. However, you want to spin it. Yeah, if you if you still relevant, I was in front of Big. Huh? Yeah, but bro, I was. Nas was Numbers had nothing to do with shit when we was listening I'm, to him. I'm, I'm putting Jada in the top five, man. Huh? Hey, I don't hey, think cool. Jada Kiss has never had a bad verse. Yeah, but, but his lyrics is for like, writing songs. Yes. He was dope, but you got to remember, he was a freshman and he was appointed by one of the best. Who we talking about? B.I.G. guy. We're talking about Jada. I know I, I think Jada's up there. I just I, top five? Jada up there. There is this, I could say that. But he was past the he was past the he was past the baton. So he's always gonna have to take a step behind the person. I don't that, think, yeah, I don't yeah, I don't think he was better than Biggie, but no, 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 no. I think I think as a lyricist, now over better. the time has he proved himself to be top five. They say the king of New York. I now. Think I think so. Yeah, I think I think Jada gets a spot one. I think so. But do you agree that Nas would be in front of Biggie? Bro, mm. we had this conversation. Ooh. I'm gonna tell you. I don't you know something. the order, bro. I don't know the order. I'm, I'm not Nas. Order. However you want to flip it. I, Whatever I order you put it in, I think Nas gotta be in front of Biggie. Biggie. Yeah, you, you some people gotta, say, Nas, some people say Nas can be gotta be in front of Jay-Z. Some people would say that. What else I'm saying? Those I don't three, give a I, fuck I about what people would say. There is a there is a I'm, distinction. I'm asking you your opinion. No, he's saying what we say. The distinction of a rapper. When you live in your hood, you know who the best rapper is, and you know who could get one. So, so do you put? Uh, yeah. Who you put in front? Give us the order: Biggie, Jay Z, and Nas. Who's number one? It's Biggie, Biggie, Jay Z, <laughs> no. Nas. <laughs> yeah, nah, I, I got said, you know, all you, you want, bro. I, I got, I got, Biggie. I got Biggie at the bottom of that list. Of them three you just said, bro. Hey, bro, you is bugging. That's oh, bro. Man, bro. Biggie, special. Biggie, and, uh, Body of work ain't big enough, bro. When you body was listening to hip hop, up. you wasn't thinking about numbers, man. I'm not talking about numbers. I'm talking about body of work. The body That's of work. work. So do the you think you don't think that you don't think world. that you don't think that that those two or whatever you want to call it, you want to call it three, those body of work was enough the, to crown him the, number one. The 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 elite have uh and i'm not saying none nobody's not elite on this fucking table i think everybody in this table is elite when it comes to hip-hop and rapping skills but the elite think different 
um, uh, people like Sticky Fingers, uh, people like uh, 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 who the, the hottest person considered out of a group when the group performed and it was always waiting for that person to do the last verse or that person that was the most significant or popular method, man, shit like that. Right. Right. They stood out no matter what they did as far as body of work, even if they had a catalog, some of them lived longer, but they got their spot at a specific point in time. Biggie got a spot in his, in, a, in a specific point of time when the best rappers was him, Jay-Z and Oz. You can go further and Biggie's not here. Nas is still here. Jay-Z is still here. And even though they've gotten doper, even though that they evolved to a different plateau, Let's they just didn't beat Biggie when Biggie was here. And they wouldn't have been. Look, let's just judge them from the time when Biggie was alive. No. And we want to judge them from the time Biggie was alive. Biggie was alive. Biggie number one, bro. Biggie had the bro. best time about all the niggas. Think, think about... Think, about I think, think about the position they was in when they began. Think what? Don't think about the consistency of what could have been because one person died out of the race. He could have, Biggie could have died uh, uh, mad kilometers uh, above uh, Jay-Z and I, but because he died and didn't get to the finish line, don't mean that he wasn't whooping. Look, this, this is my time. All right. I think we need to. I think when they do the top five shit or greatest of all time, they need to do it by decades. First thing, I don't think that I don't like the mix and match shit, but whatever. I, I mean, you gotta you gotta accept the. Fact I'm gonna that say what he said. What he said, I'm gonna say from that era. My top five influential icons in hip hop is from '91 to 2000. Yeah, Biggie, Jay Z, Nas, Tupac, and Snoop. Okay, now. I, I would put it in that in uh in um I don't know I, I probably could move Pac up because of his influence, but I think Biggie, I think I think that this is my opinion, y'all. So nobody don't condemn me. When it comes to hip hop, two of the best hip hop albums ever. Well, you got four great albums, but two of the best hip hop albums ever. Uh -huh is life after death and all eyes on me my opinion and no matter that's in that same decade i mean i know that but i'm just saying i well i, I can give you four them you want to say i mean you, i can give you five right now five of the top best hip-hop albums you want to do it like that i'll give you from nine, life after to death. i'll give you uh all eyes on me i give you illmatic i give you reasonable doubt and i give you doggy style okay now right, those albums are all those albums are flawless to so me. You, I, I'm, I'm with you on that. I'm with you on that. I agree with all five of those. I agree with all five of those. But my, my the question I'm asking is, was Biggie better than Nas in that era? Yes. Uh, I I think uh, I think Biggie. Look. I think Biggie was more. He was special. We talk about lyrics. He's talking about lyricists, bro. Lyrically. Yeah, yeah. Bro, to me, life after death is hey, bro. One of, my, one of my favorite albums, bro. Like hey, bro. A lime to a lemon. My DC women living in 10G minimum with condos and elevators in them. Vehicles <laughs> with televisions in them. Watch your entourage turn. Watch my entourage turn yours to just mirages. Ill disappearing acts strictly nons and max killers be serial copper hey, film material. Hey, bro, I sneak a Uzi on the island in my army jacket lining. I'm gonna shut the fuck up. Nas yeah. Was, because, yeah, because 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 was, that's realistic rap. You're talking about what's going on around you. This motherfucker hunt then the biggie developed bro, the scenery, with bro. Stuff for Jesus, bro. Come on, right. now. Hey, let me tell you something for the record. You know, I'm a Nas fan. But I'm this, telling you, bro, there was that nigga Biggie was 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 different. I'm not saying Biggie was didn't you? have better songs. I said, was he a better lyricist? I, yes, because this motherfucker was going. 
Nas was rhyming about his habitat. Biggie was rhyming about he was he had no no ceiling. The shit that Biggie was saying was influential as well as um, Nas changed rap. Wait a minute, bro. So did Biggie. Biggie had a Biggie had people with a. There is no Biggie without Nas. Bro, you bugging. Biggie when, when Biggie came out like Kane and them back then, boy. Bro, but he put he but when he turned it into something that nobody could beat. He was number one. <laughs> he was number one. That's a fact. Was that an opinion? Critically acclaimed, bro. Is it a fact? Critically a- acclaimed. That critically means that the last year said say, so. Uh, it's opinion. And mine is critically better. Yeah, yeah. Ain't yeah. nobody <laughs> want no biggie, bro. We, we say Ain't nobody want no biggie. We say it's an uh, opinion. I mean, I think Jay was right. You know what? You know when he let off with Biggie, but I think he was right when he left Biggie. But you know, I'm a Nas nice fan. You know, Illmatic was my shit. It was written I, to me. Illmatic. Illmatic it was written you. to me. It was written as better than Illmatic. You live nah. up I I agree with that. I agree with that. But nah. Illmatic had more of an impact than than it was written. Illmatic right. changed rap. All right, look. I think I think I think it was written was a better album too. Biggie was Kane. Nas was to me. Rock him and G Rap had a baby. Rock him, right? And G Rap had a baby. And yeah. All right. So look, two different realms, two different strengths. But the more popular rapper is the one that made the chicken heads flock. That was Biggie. He had hit. Record after hit record. Every time he did a hey, single, bro. that shit was a bomb. Lil Nas X had a had a hit record, bro. It ain't. I'm not talking about hit records. I'm talking about lyrically, nigga. Line I'm for line. Trying to get you to understand. Line for line, Biggie was better than Nas to you. Yes. Okay. And all the time. Okay. Nas was cunning. Biggie was fucking brilliant. Cunning and brilliant. That's like, all right, cool. You might get a dope ass fucking rap out of uh uh what's the nigga name that was on Young Money uh the one uh uh big rapper damn dang step what's that boy name uh 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 the one that had the interview talking about Drake what's the boy name of Young Money it was Drake uh uh ah that's why I'm remembering those shits but anyway a cunning artist. <clears throat> That knows how to use his vernacular in a way, bro. That shit is fly. That was what we had rap in our hearts about. It was something about the way Biggie did it that made it unfucking stoppable. This guy for you though. That's for you, bro. It's for every fucking body. I want to say it can't be if it ain't for me, bro. It's not for everybody. You just you 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 with an essence. Biggie Smalls was a spiritual virtuality that you actually got to see. He rapped in a way that you could look and be like, yo, this fat nigga got on a mink. And he nice. He made, how the fat boy make the bitches do shit. He said, I'm with the model bitches. He was talking like a slim nigga. You don't argue with a fat nigga that's ugly and he doing what the slim niggas is doing, the pretty boys, because he was able to he was able to say it in a way that it was so memorable. You would not forget. I don't know how many rhymes that Biggie said that people don't know now. I know that Nas said a lot of shit that was dope as fuck on a side B, but they don't know it. We know it, bro. Uh, bro, we talk about Nas. We talking about people that's like you and me. 
We ain't talking about. We only talking about you and me and B. We only talking about us. No, we ain't. We talking about the people in our genre, the people, oh, the people oh, in, our, in our era that know what we talking about. Bro, I'm nobody. I don't do opinionated, re I don't do opinionated re rhetoric. What I do is I talk about it the way we talked about it when it came out, when they tape dropped and how everybody felt when it dropped and you wasn't getting a Nas album for four more years. You had to listen to the Wu-Tang, Biggie, and whoever the fuck else was out until Nas came out and everybody was like, ooh. Yeah, and you know what's crazy? It, All right. Uh, what year did Illmatic come out? 92. Nine, nine, yeah, 94. yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, 94. Because I, 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 I had an argument about that shit too. My bad, I didn't mean to cut you off. And then... Halftime came out in 92, but so the album... Illmatic came out in 94. 94. 94. Mm -hmm. Biggie died in 96, right? Yeah. But Halftime came out in 92, B. No, half -time you're right, you're right. that was the first shit. They just added that shit on there. Yeah, yeah half it, was on, it was on the movie. It was on um Halftime and then uh the other one, the uh the Michael Jackson beat. Oh so, uh, he, so it was written came out in 96. Yeah, that, so it was so yeah, two years, two years and some months. Yeah, yeah. second album. He's still on Columbia. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So Nas, mm -hmm. Nas lyrically, man, that, that that boy is special, man. That that nigga. Oh, that no, 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 you, you're right. It's a good debate. It's oh, a debate. I would not, not get with this man, bro. You are right. <laughs> Putting words together on a different level than Biggie. But yo, I I, I feel yo, no nobody saying nothing about Jay Z. Exactly. I, I we ain't get to him yet. I think <laughs> we ain't Jay get to him yet. Huh? I, I think, think I think Tupac and and Snoop were more influence. I mean, they shit was dope as lyrical. They were they, but they but they influence was big, yep. bigger than bigger than them because Snoop, Snoop had a nigga said. wearing house shoes and getting his hair braided in North Snoop New Jersey. Snoop ain't saying no crazy fly <laughs> shit. Nigga, I grew my way he said shit that was fun. Right? I grew my hair because of Snoop, bro. Yeah. When my, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he was he was he was uh very, very you if I, I would I would have followed Snoop too if I was a skinny nigga. Right, but, but he like, wasn't he wasn't the most lyrical nigga. He was just a dope nigga. But yeah, I think we all like cool motherfuckers. I think Jay the GOAT, bro. Hey, what about uh Mm -mm -mm. Brooklyn's finest nigga. Mm. Mm. Best group. Best rap group. I Best got my beat. Hold up, wait a minute. I want to know what the category is. Best rap group? Best hip hop group? Which one you talking about? Rap, rap, rap. Tell me my rap, raw rap. Just, yeah, I mean, you know, we had it. Shout out to uh, Outside with Goldie. We always had this debate. And you know it goes, it goes, it turns into Bob Deep versus Outcast. That's what it turns into. Bob Deep versus Outcast. Yeah, Outcast. Um all right, Outcast. Yo, you know what? But and, and we, and are we wait, wait hip -hop, before you yo, hip hop was so influential, like you know, even like with the best group, because do we count Wu Tang as a group? That's what I was about to say. Are we talking two man groups or are we just talking about groups? Yeah. That's why I was. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Rap. I don't know how we do that. I mean, I think Wu Tang technology. Niggas ain't want to hear that. But mm -hmm. I would still take. Hey, yo, I would still take Mob Deep over Wu. No way. And uh, and you need to go ahead and react, re retract. <laughs> hey, let's go. Let's hey, get bro. it going. Let's get it going. Let's let's get this shit sound go. crazy. It's, that shit sound crazy. Cut rolling off, rolling hey, off. Infamous is <laughs> best albums ever, and I think the Infamous is better than Into the Thirty Six. The, the first, the Thirty Six Chambers. Bro, you had a variety of niggas to pick. From. Ooh, you heard that nigga just said. Ooh, he said it was better. The Infamous. I don't remember the. I'm gonna be honest with you. You gotta. You gotta. I thought the next mop was. My the album was better than Infamous, so you gotta tell me the the, the joint. Probably look at your uh. The, the Infamous was uh was uh. I'm, I'm gonna help you. Uh, out. Look at it. Mob Deep was a Mob Deep was just a vibe, bro. That was a, a vibe. Yeah, he was considered one of the dopest lyricists on the planet. 
Yeah. Nigga. Hey, yo, I ain't gonna lie. Niggas went to fight when they played Rock right, Deep, nigga. We jumped in cars to that shit to go bite oh, the go oh, fight, right. nigga. Yeah, you right. right, game. You right, game. You right. <laughs> the the ones. Game, the infamous the I-4 the f- and I. You right, game. I-4 and I. I-4 and I. I-4 and I. The bottom of the fittest. Uh, oh, wait a minute. Give what up the goods. Right Temperature rising. Uh, Boy. Oh Bro. my God. Cradle to the grave. I'm not denying it. I'm not denying them shits ain't do. But what I'm saying to you is, got to step off the real. Now go, now go to, now go to the 36 Chambers. Go to Wu Tang first album. You got Word. Cream Tiger Style. Ooh. Tiger you got, Style. Wu Tang Clan ain't nothing to fuck with. Wu Tang nigga, they they album leaked. Who leaked my album? Who leaked my album? Nobody. Bro, they have to leak it. That shit is leak. Oh. It's the method man for bring sure. Bring the ruckus, shame on a nigga. Bring, bring the ruckus, on. shame on a nigga. Can it be so Come simple, on, bro? Can it be so simple? Bring more than that. H-O-D, man. When your take, leak, when your take your leak, when somebody got to get your shit out and it make know. it to Jersey, hey, bro, y'all gotta you want to read it the next day? Hey, bro. Hey, Bob Albums. That mob album was nigga. It's one of the best albums ever made. Wait, who else we got besides Mob Deep and Wu Tang? Is anybody else in there? Outcast? We're gonna say no. Outcast, Outcast would be third. If uh, if you don't because the dog pound and all them that that they, they, they don't get up. With the group. Fucking um I like the locks. The locks. I like oh yeah, the locks. You got yeah, the locks. The locks. Um yeah. That's from that era. Oh, what's the name? Don't count. Do it. Uh, yeah, but all of them groups we naming ain't none of them got an. Hey, can I say something? Um, you know who was influential to style and in, in in music and don't get their credit? Smith and Wesson. The boot oh, of course. Click, the whole boot camp click. Yeah, it was instrumental. Well, that, that, was, they, they played a major part in that. That that. But they were like another woo. That, that they were like another woo. Yo, all right, yeah. Buckshot, man. God damn, Buckshot don't get his flowers? Let's nah, take Buckshot. Buckshot wasn't well, the Buckshot. Only, they, they, they Buckshot was the only group of, uh, I mean, Black Black was a, Buckshot was the only MC. Right. That's right. what I said, Buckshot. Black right. Moon. That's what Black Moon. Moon. Evil D and... Uh, yeah, but yeah, Black Moon get it. However you want to flip it. Without Black, without Black Moon, you don't get Smith & Wesson. You don't get right, fucking... Hold up. Hold up. So we doing this wrong. We doing this wrong. De La Soul. No, no, I said errors, fool. That's that's not oh, the error. same error. error. That's, okay. Okay. that's right. what I was saying. That's what I hate about now. Cause they'll they'll grab fucking Jay Z and put an NBA young boy. Like you can't do that. Like yeah, you can't do like, that. That's what I'm saying. So like in 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 De La Soul, it was one of the top ones. Ninety one to two thousand, fool. Right, yeah. Locks. Yeah, you got the locks. Let's make it hard. Let's make it hard. Top top rap group from 2000 to 2010. Mm. Wasn't really a bunch of rap groups then. Yeah, no. Nah, yeah. It, it just diminished around groups. Our people still there. Yeah, they no, wasn't mob, still. the mob won't win until Prodigy and then Prodigy went from, away. Uh, from 2000 better. to 2010, though, Mob Deep wasn't popping, popping. They yeah. wasn't, yeah, but they wasn't playing a lot of mob shit on the radio too, neither. So, she shook ones you yeah. couldn't get them to turn that shit off. Yeah, until until and until fucking, the what's the name? Uh, the God damn, here we go again. Huh? Quiet storm, bro. They shut that Yo, shit off for a while. Murder music was ninety nine, so that counts. 2000 really murder music no it don't it counts no it counts look the 2000 shit would have to be 2001 to 2010 that's the 10 years 91 to 2000 is the 10 years in 2001 mob deep dropped infamy they wasn't wasn't it was it ain't had that same impact no 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 but that's what i'm saying 2000 2010 from 2001 to 2010 um, the Mob Deep albums was for the hood, bro. Shit wasn't out there like that. So we only bro, talking it's from out there like that. Nah, bro. We we we, we listen. You not even though that is where it's at now. At that time, that shit wasn't 
as big as we talking like right now. You crazy as hell. Hey, yo, what, was the name of, what was the name of Prodigy? Wait a minute, album, man. Wait a minute, AB. Uh, H N I C. AB, AB. Yeah. He just said that at the time when the infamous came out, is it wasn't as big as what we saying it is now. It wasn't. Yeah, yeah. The infamous was the best album out at that time. In the hood. Where the fuck else was we at? Nigga, you talking about that versus the Wu-Tang who was worldwide by then. Nigga, they not was on the playing that shit chambers, in Japan. Though. They <laughs> wasn't worldwide 36 Chambers, bro. Not on the 36 Chambers. No, they wasn't. Bro, they had an album for every member. What is you talking about? Fool. They wasn't worldwide when they first album came out. They was not. Bro, you better go ahead and look at that the Wu Tang documentary, nigga. They was worldwide. <laughs> People on the thirty six chambers, chambers, they was worldwide. They was on the thirty six chambers, they was worldwide. They got worldwide. Right. They eventually got there. They wasn't worldwide, nigga. When bro, they was the biggest group. At the time, you liked, you liked it, Mob Deep. Like I liked it, Mob Deep, but I wasn't listening to Wu Tang. I was listening to Mob Deep because of the shit I was doing. I was riding around in stolen cars with dummies. Hey, hey, that, that's why that shit was dope. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's when the Wu Tang was, was on, when the Wu Tang was on, you was talking yeah. to a five percenter or one of them niggas. Nigga, I was a five percenter. <laughs> exactly. So you should know. Wu Tang, Wu Tang had impact, but with yeah, the into the thirty six, it was, it was more of what you heard at the time because they had the dope songs. Me, out of that. To me, into the thirty six chambers was not better than the infamous. All right, cool. You don't got to skip nothing on the infamous, bro. Oh, cool, but that's that's just just to you. I, yeah, I, I don't skip nothing on the infamous. On, on Into the 36 Chambers, I skip some I'm shit. I'm not saying that the album wasn't dope, and I'm not saying that they wasn't the fly shit. I'm just saying that Wu Tang. Yo, you know, they don't have NGNC out on streaming services. No, well, I was looking for that shit the other day, and I was wondering why I couldn't find it. What happened? That HNIC album shit. You can't stream it. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Nah. He was talking about it in the book. You got to listen to the book. That's when that nigga started fucking with Alchemist, man. Woo. Yeah. Woo. That was an ill, that was an ill joint. But the infamous, bro, I, I can't think of a group album that that's better than the infamous. Well, I like them. But um the real is the real is bro. Hey, hey, cool. When we was in North Carolina, bro, we played the infamous. Front to back, wrapped everywhere. It was me, you, and Hill in the car, nigga. Me, you, and Hill. There were three niggas that wanted to hear something other than the shit that was playing, bro. We 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 selected it bro, because we, we knew it was dope. Song on there. We wrapped every and song funny. on there. Do you think that it would have been different if it was the Wu Tang that we played? We would have yeah, been we the same We would have been skipping shit. I skipped bringing the motherfucking ruckus. Uh, I skip, buddy, buddy. I skip a few songs on there, bro. All right, well, that's debatable, and you know, I understand where you're coming from because they on that album, yeah, that shit could go all the way through, but that don't mean it was the biggest group, bro. We talking about the better album? No, Wu Tang was the bigger group. The better. Album. No, we ain't saying nothing about no better album. We talking about the Wu Tang. Infamous Being versus bigger group, then no, no, not the bigger group. We said the best group. All right, so not then when, when you when you watch the shit, the podcast over, <laughs> bro. When we said that shit in the beginning. Just go ahead and retract your debates. A B, hmm? what was the debate? The, the the best group or the biggest group? The best. Because if it was the biggest group, it would be Outcast. The biggest group is the best. <laughs> no, it ain't. I like to say, like to say hey, no, girl. it's not. I mean, why you ain't the best if you the biggest? What part of that? I mean, what part I, of that is, what do we, what what do we mean by biggest? biggest? I don't mean like number members. I meant like you know, no, no, no. Wu Tang Clan was a group. They had a lot of members, but they were as a group. 
a fucking uh, uh, new edition was a group. It had a lot of members, but they was a group. No, because what I'm saying is Wu Tang was a bigger group. Yes, they was worldwide. What, but the better group to me was Mob Deep. So then, then as long as it's to you, the better group is it, not. It's not. It's not what the world. Is. Debate. And you hey, think? Yo, no, I promise you, think, you guys, we're putting you, these polls on the on the the. the wait a minute, right, B, wait a minute B. Right, go ahead, go ahead. So, I'm sorry. So to you, Wu Tang was better than Mob Deep. Yeah, they were. Okay. Not what? bigger, better, right? I we're bigger and better. I gotta go with the mob, man. I'm going with, with the mob on that. Yeah, I'm, with the, I'm not saying right, I don't. Look, like the mob. I don't like. The, I'm not saying I don't like the mob. I enjoy that album just like you do. That's why I know the words to the shit, but I also know the words to the Wu Tang shit too. Yeah, me too. But like I said, I and a whole them. bunch of white yeah, people. I'm gonna say this. this. They don't know the wrong. mob deep. I'm gonna say this. They know the mob. They know the Wu Tang verse. I'm gonna say this, word for word. I'm, I'm talking about me. I ain't talking about no white people. I'm gonna say this. As far as impact, nigga, and being nigga, the big, nigga and better doesn't doesn't as far come as out. Impact is going to be the biggest thing. worldwide. It's Wu Tang. The Wu Tang clan. It's Wu Tang. They was the bigger group. Yes. Who's bigger, Jay Z or Nas? Nah, I mean Jay Z. Yeah. Jay Z. All right, same. Better class, is same debatable. Concept. Better same is concept. debatable. Concept. Hey, no, same concept. Yeah, it's, same concept. concept. It's a good Jay, debate. If Nas was where Jay Z is, and Jay Z was where Nas is, we would be saying the same thing, just in reverse. It's a good debate. It's, no, it's a beautiful wait, one. So, so are we agreeing that Jay Z is bigger than Nas? Yeah, we did agree on that. We agree Jay Z is bigger, and we also agree Jay Z is better. That's debatable. I think Jay Z is better, but that's debatable. It's debatable to say who's better. How many people are you going to sit there and debate with, nigga? The numbers don't lie. <laughs> no, no, my point because better don't have nothing to do with numbers. Yeah, well, you kind better of is your better. Better is your preference, bro. Do you think? Do, do you guys think that? Oh no 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 no. When you say what what numbers are we talking about? I ain't gonna go there. What, what you talking about? Wait, album sales and shit like that. Like that don't that don't count. No, that. I'm not even talking about album sales, man. Just what people know. If you can go ahead and walk into a place where there's diversity and spit the Mob Deep album and they join in, and you got the whole house, then I'll agree with you. Mm. But if you go on that bitch and do a Wu Tang verse, mm. every fucking body, the bouncer. The fucking valet drivers. That's because the goddamn they, they people that group. steal money they, in the bathrooms. They, they all going to sing the Wu Tang first. a bigger group, bro. I agree that Wu Tang was a bigger group. You want to know why they were bigger? Because they Not were better. They were better. Not because they was better. Bro. Lil Nas X had the biggest song of the year. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, bro. Hold on, because I don't want to um, um, us cut out when we talking because of the audio. If I'm, if I'm uh, uh, the better group, everybody knows the Wu Tang Clan. I'm more popular. I get played more, and every fucking body knows me. When you talk about Mob Deep, Mob Deep was a group that talked about the shit that you and I were familiar with. It was two members. So they only kept it where it needed to be kept. And that's what made them dope. Because we could relate. The Wu-Tang was trying to elevate us. One grown man at a time. So, fool, let me ask you this. Lil Nas, X, Lil Nas X had the biggest song one year. Was he the best artist? To the LGBT community. Oh, uh, no, I'm talking about... <laughs> Else. I don't See, listen you. to Nas X, bro. I don't know nothing about him. You telling me that you telling me that Wu Tang was better than Mob Deep because they were the bigger group? Absolutely, absolutely. Bigger and better are two different things. To you, to you too. No, no, <laughs> motherfucker, no. 
If you play, I didn't like Doja Cat. She play on the radio every fucking day. I like Doja Cat now. The mm -hmm. influence changes. But just because you like her don't make her the, the best or the better. No, I, I, and I understand that. But you got to understand this. I understand what you're saying, but you got to understand this. You like them for the reason you like them. That don't That's mean I, that it's a lot more used than it's a lot more them. What I'm saying, though, fool, I'm not asking you about who's who had the bigger uh, impact or what. We say who had the best. Who was the best group, bro? Not the bigger the people group. that like my you, beat. No, we not the talking about that like my beat versus you. the people that like Wu Tang was at a lesser accord. We talking about it was you. Lesser. We're not talking about the people. We talking about you. I'm. I'm I, I just told you. I you don't do you. opinionated. I don't do opinionated content because I don't. I'm answering the question based on what we want to talk about, which is who's the better group. And who is the most influential or whatever the case is. My opinion is my opinion. But my answer to your question, my answer to your question involves everybody else but me. Hey, right. But you're not giving up your opinion. Why for? Because if I give you my opinion, opinion, I get into an argument with you. I want to argue with the world, motherfucker. The question was your opinion. No, it was not my opinion. The number says so. <laughs> Wu Tang Clan got an album that nobody it's heard big. but some white rich man that's stuck up in his it's ass. Don't want nobody to hear it. What was the question? I said, "Who was the best? Who was the best group? Who the is the best? Wu Tang Clan. Who was the best? Wu Tang forever, nigga. It's not I your had, opinion. We had up there. We had Mob Deep, Wu Tang Clan, and we had Outkast. Yeah, but he telling Act, me that Act Six, Act Six. Random white women who my deep is. You're I'm losing. asking you, fool. I'm asking you, bro. I listen. Well, who to said it? Who said his? He said his pick is Wu Tang. No, <laughs> then he said is that he's not giving opinion dated uh things. And no, I said Wu Tang Clan is the best and better and bigger rap group than Mob Deep. Okay, but I'm not saying that. From my opinion, I'm saying that because it's proven. That the best can't be proven, uh, fool. It's your how opinion. The fuck you, how the fuck you call a nigga the number one if he ain't number one, Gabe? Drake number one. How That's you call opinion. Drake Drake number one? The opinion. Some people say NBA Youngboy number one. Bro, who number one that in the chart? Say who number one in the goddamn charts, man? <laughs> <laughs> Who number one, game? He rose up, up again, no opinion, I don't give a fuck of what some people say, bro. Some people say that men should sit down and pee. That don't mean we going to do so, it. So so if we going by the charts, then then you just throw it me who sold it. Nigga, nigga. You going by who sold it? I'm saying is, you know better. If Drake is bigger than NG, NBA young boy, it's written it's there the world knows it he's bigger, the bigger, he's the bigger artist bigger don't make you better that don't, mean, that 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 don't mean you don't agree, that don't mean you don't agree that drake is better than nj and nba young boy Lil Nas X is a big artist and and he ain't he not on your list at all he's not on your list <laughs> and then but the numbers say he's the best I and I think he that he got songs out there that's running off uh, on, with the wheel. You know, one of their lists. Young Nas X got songs that you I can't fucking help but not to fucking sing. They just don't. That don't got nothing to do with nothing else other than the fact that the music is dope. It's dope. It's dope. But he ain't the best artist to you. Because it's there's more artists that I think that are, that are up there with it. Right, that are that's that are lesser on the charts. But I'm not the giving you my the opinion. Best. I'm charts telling you that best. if you say that he's the best, it's because it's a fact that he's the best. He got the better fucking. He's Back. the guy. Hey, bro. That's what it says. Hey, bro. We think Bex is better than Heineken. That's our opinion, bro. I'm not gonna argue with you about Bex and Heineken. Because I'm not giving you my opinion on the beer. Nigga, beer is beer. But if you say, what's the best beer? 
your opinion though, fool. That's the point I'm trying to make. We asked your opinion. Hey, okay. Give me let's switch. Let's switch it because we we had a we, we stuck here, you know, the time. The only thing about the only thing about opinion, Real quick. The only thing about opinion is that now, you get you get to you get to uh say for instance if you we talking about the Wu Tang clan again. Mm -hmm. If the Wu Tang clan is worldwide and Mob Deep is not. That don't mean that Mob Deep ain't dope, but they're not worldwide. Worldwide means more viewers, more ears, more people that know your content. But that don't make if you bad. I know, bro, if I know your content and then you give me, play a team, uh, another group that you consider dope, listen to this, hear this, Stretch and Bobito, they good for that shit. And then you be like, all right, cool. They dope, but they ain't better than such and such. All right, cool. But if this motherfucker group ends up worldwide, then you have to start realizing that they're, those other opinions have to mean something because they're in abundance. He they, has... I say opinions don't mean nothing. I say, but it, their opinion don't affect my opinion. That's the reason why I don't give my opinion. I'm telling you from the things that I know. I know there's more white people that know Wu Tang verses than there are that know Mob Deep verses. And you think that makes them better? I know. I think that that means that there's more people interested in Wu Tang Clan, which makes them better. Okay, we do have to agree or disagree on that one. Well, there ain't no other way. <laughs> My beat don't get played unless we ask for it. And if we ask for it and ask for it, they keep playing it. it go, to on Oklahoma, go to New York and see if they play a mob beat verse if the DJ ain't looking like you or me. You keep talking about they. <laughs> yeah, because there's a whole bunch of other motherfucking members of the Wu-Tang Clan. It's motherfucking white people. It's Indians. It's Asians. It's fucking goddamn... People that they don't even consider themselves black and they look darker than I am. They love the Wu-Tang Clan. They don't know who Prodigy is. Hmm. Game? And that makes that makes Wu-Tang better than, 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 than Bob D. Well, don't you think that if they knew you and didn't know me, that you'd be the first person they talked to? Don't mean you better. Motherfucker, to them it do. No, it don't. Hey, hey, listen. Oh, so the fans don't matter. Not when it's your opinion. Bro, I'm not giving you my opinion. I'm talking off facts. Well, this conversation means if you the hot nigga, if you the hot nigga in the room, that's a fact. I and can't change it. We had, I don't a, we had a crossroad with this. I got a. Yeah, quick, I, I got a quick I, question for y'all. I, I know you've been working food, so you probably ain't seen it yet. Video music box documentary. I see. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 I, I started watching documentary. Uh, Video music yeah, box. Yeah, I was was awesome. that. You seen the game? Yep. That was awesome. Big shout Excellent. out to Ralph McDaniels. Big shout out to the debate, man. We're gonna start taking uh, the podcast debates to um, to the Instagram live. We're gonna start putting the polls up. We need the people involved. So we got two debates <laughs> right now. We got the 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 um, well the main well we got we got who's the '90s Biggie, Jay Z, and Nas. Who goes first? We got who's the bigger group, Mob Deep or Wu Tang? And we got the best group. The best group. And we got nah, man, God. come on, man. And no, we got and we got, with the and we got and we got the um, the word, we got the, the, um, the, the who, law chain. Who started the what is it releasing the albums? Who changed the pace of dropping out? Changed the pace of music. Tupac or Master P. So we got that. We got to write that down. We got to get the people involved, man. That's a good debate. Oh, y'all, you know that y'all know the uh, Matrix Four is yeah. out. Yeah. yeah, I'm about to watch that shit right now, buddy. Yeah, I'm not nobody's movie here to see that shit. Omarion ain't fucking me up again. No, no, that shit on HBO Max. We ain't had no goddamn Omarion. It's on HBO Max. Cool. So we got to check that out. So we need we need a review on the Matrix when we come back. We need a um. Review on this Nas album. I, right now, I, that's what I was doing, reading reviews, and they talk about Nas is the greatest. 
That's what he's talking about, man. He dope, man. He undeniable. That Nas is officially the greatest. I've seen a couple of reviews on it. Uh, somebody here said Nas is on another planet with the lines. The hip boy just found a chamber that allows him to hit any style ever. Yeah, if you fuck with if you fuck with a hit boy again like that, man, bro. I mean, that Grammy was a blessing. And uh, Nas said a line on the new album that said, uh, "Me, Jay, and Frank White. Frank White is Biggie for the people who don't. Of course, know. yeah, for the like, people you know, that people don't know. Yeah, no, you're right. You're right. King of New York. Now I said a line on the new album says me, Jay, and Frank White is like Cole, Drizzy, and Kenny. So they said, now I said it, so let it be. Kendrick Lamar, that's with Kenny. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What do you think about that? Hey, yo, if it's coming from a goat. He said me, Jay, and Frank White is like Cole. It's almost like the way that Rakim appointed Nas. You got you to gotta respect it. If he say that, that's what it got to be. No, you actually have to be that's dope. What they said they said right here. After they said it, it says Nas nah, said it, so let it be. <laughs> yeah, it is what it is when it comes from the goat. Yeah. Tom Brady ain't gonna tell you that this motherfucker ain't hot if this motherfucker ain't hot. Yeah. And then he it's hot. Good, it's good debates, man. It's it's good debates, brothers. I swear to God, we got to take we got to take them through. We got to take them to the. Uh, platform and get the people to chime in, man. It was a good debate. I like that, you know, with the music, man. Is there anything else on the table before we get out of here, man? Uh, not for me. Nah, today was a good day. Oh, that's it, huh? Let's not talk about Ice Cube. Mm -hmm. Like that. Mm -hmm. Say that for yeah. the <laughs> wow. The people, man. Smoke Talk Podcast. We can't wait for the new year. Uh, Let's go. Next, next episode. Oh, Jenko. Good young. All the above, man. Uh, the next yep. episode, we don't really count it down to, uh, to you know, get us up out of here. But, uh, game, take us up out of here, man. Yeah, for all hearts and minds, it's clear, man. This, this has been sponsored and powered by Jenko. Shout out to Vion. Peace. All right, peace. Wow. Man, ain't no scripts, you know. I keep going, 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 man.